Hello and thank you for watching. My name is Merganator, and this is the VGN GT3 Cup here at Monza. Um, there was a time mistake that happened, and I thought the race was supposed to start later than it was in the day, so my fault, I missed the, uh, the qualifying. So in this lobby, uh, there's only one lobby, I started dead last, which was 19th place. So race one is literally just me starting from the back and trying to claw my way up front, which... Spoiler alert is not too successful. So here we are uh, We have rally cap going through the corners already, but we all pretty much survive the first chicane on the first lap uh, There is a formation lap. We start single file in the VGN series And as soon as your car touches the start lap or the uh, finish line start finish line then you go so Foxy gaming has already had already has a pretty damn good lead. And I make a big mistake here I break way too late then I kind of lock up the brakes. Really aggressive on there. I gain almost two positions, but then I lose them immediately. Um, I should have held on against sticks, but uh, couldn't make it stick, and I hit Nomad. Lap three, trying to put the moves again on sticks, and couldn't make it work. And then LER missing. Something happened there. Able to jump into 18th place. Later on in lap four, Nomad is having a decent battle with sticks. Sticks just getting ahead of him. Nomad going for the lunge. He's a little too. Uh, a little too ambitious there, and he, his mistake makes him lose out against Styx and myself, so I'm up into 17th place. Lap 5, coming into the first chicane here. Nomad going on the inside move. I should have defended, but, you know, being in 17th place, I really didn't think I needed, needed to defend <laughs> this early in the race as well. So, uh, lesson learned. Nomad went for the move, and he earned it. Around the bend, though, I go for the move again, lock up the brakes yet again. I'm way too deep and make a huge mistake and just kind of plant my car right in front of him, getting in Nomad's way. So that just slowed us both down. So that was a big mistake on my part, just a big rookie mistake. But then Nomad goes off into the sand. I didn't touch him, don't know what happened, if there was lag or something. But yeah, into the sand he goes, and I'm up into 16th now. Lap 9, we have Big White Donk into the tire wall there. And uh, going through there slower than usual, but I'm being cautious. And I'm up into 15th place, place now. Having a decent battle with Big White Donk. Trying to hold him off. Styx makes a mistake on lap 11. Massively getting slowed down, so I'm able to get in front of him for 14th place. And on the last lap, going into the second chicane... I have Styx right behind me in his Corvette. I make a mistake there. Styx is going to take up the inside line and just breeze past me. I'm going to try to do a cutback, but I failed to do so, and it just knocked him wide, slowing us both down. And then I completely misjudge his speed through here. Touching the back of his car made my rear end kick out just a little bit and caused a lot of oversteer, which made me end up into the sand, so I finish this race in 16th place. Okay, race two was a flipped grid, so I'm starting this in second place, which is very nerve-wracking. Had Nomad just in front of me in big white dunk and sticks behind me, rounding out the top four. And as you can see, instead of 11 laps, we now have, or instead of 12 laps, we have 22 laps. Uh, don't worry about that right there, I just kind of misjudged cutting the corner slightly and Nomad starts to pull away later on on lap 3 trying to catch up with Nomad and almost do the same damn thing but I was able to uh, completely miss him didn't touch him this time so it just slowed myself down maybe slowed Donk down just a little bit but he is able to get up into second place little mistake there slowing me down I know Styx is right behind me trying to get around me and just uh yeah, a lot of mistakes being made early on in this race, which really, really hurts my overall position. Coming hot on the heels of Donk somehow catching up to this Lamborghini, which had amazing top end, and there was a wreck back there, so all of lap four was a caution, yellow flag. Lap five begins once again, and it would be the only caution flag for this race. So I kind of have a chance at redemption here of making so many mistakes in the first couple of laps. Pretty easy going through there. No big mistakes. 
follow Donk through there quite nicely. Near the end of lap 5, though, uh, trying to catch up with Donk. WRT Fat Damon. Uh, incredibly fast in his Lamborghini. I was going to try to put the moves on Donk, but his Lamborghini just more top end than mine at this point. I don't know what's going on. Damon's is tuned really nicely. And he just starts gliding past everybody. I'm going to try to ke keep up with Nomad, Damon, and Donk. And I'm going to go side by side here with Damon as Nomad and Donk go side by side. And I touch Damon just a little bit, which slowed me down quite a bit. Westmeister right behind me, trying to go easily through here. The top three are having an epic battle. Donk just in front of me. Damon and Nomad touch. Donk and Damon touch. I've touched Donk just a little bit. Everyone's slowing down. Westmeister trying to capitalize on all of this. Going on around my outside there and just taking fourth place for me. I think that was a really solid move. Lap six. Maynard gives me a little push, which slows me down drastically. This is actually my favorite part of the track. I uh, have a pretty good time going through there. So Maynard kind of messed me up. At the end of here, though, completely miss my breaking point. I always break... Um, I believe I break right at the 150 meters. And... No, 100 meters. And I broke at 50 meters. And... Yeah, almost went into the sand. Kind of saved it. So I went from 5th place all the way back to 11th. Maynard going way too deep. Foxy on the inside, outside here. And I'm just trying, struggling to get my positions back. I'm falling back into 10th place here, and it's only lap 7. Freebie. Going for the attack here. Going to take the inside line. Breaking right there at the red tires at the end of the, of the wall. Freebie going a little deep, but he's able to hold that line actually pretty damn good. Uh, Freebie getting loose with his rear end there, a little bit of oversteer, and I was going to try to take the inside line there. And uh, he just kind of swerved out in front of me, so I couldn't get around him. And Freebie's little mistakes there cost me in time. Maynard on the outside. I'm going to try to go for the move. I'm not going to try to, I'm going to give him some space, but not give him the world. But he still takes it away from me, and I <laughs> completely misjudge turning in right there and fly over the curb uh, which honestly gave me a, an advantage I'm trying to put the moves on Maynard here the Lamborghinis little OP on this track and then Ricey X going for an inside lunge in his Budweiser livery car and just pushes me out of the way Tigger Woo coming in hot and heavy and I'm going to go ahead and go into the pit the pit window was from lap 7 all the way to lap 11 so I did an early strategy to hopefully gain an advantage. We've got some people coming out. Flex is coming out of the pit as well as somebody else. I'm going to get past Flex. Go up into 16th. Rice CX and about four other cars just in front of them. And they're having quite a battle. And, uh, ooh, who is it that goes wide? Horde SS getting pushed wide. So I'm able to take that position from him up into 15th place here. Another person coming out of the pit in lap 10. That is Nomad there. So I'm able to get in front of Nomad, so that's a pretty good sign there. Still a lot of people left to... Oh, and Sticks gets spun around. Ricey X and I drive over the curb to avoid any damage. And I'm up into 11th place with Nomad just behind me. And we have one lap left for the leaders to go ahead and pit. Nomad just 40 feet behind me, going to break in my usual spot. He's going to go for the inside move. And give me a little tap ruski. I kind of turned into him. Didn't really leave him in his space. That was a ballsy move. Horde SS in the Porsche. Getting past the both of us. DOR Nomad in his Aston Martin. Not really saving me any room. My car would be getting up on the curb and slowing down. Eh, that's a little slick there. RSR Flex just in front of me in his Lambo. Stealing that spot for me. So I'm up into 14th place. Or falling back into 14th. Stevie coming out of the pit. Um, on the inside here, he doesn't really give me any room. Big mistake there. Rally Cap taking advantage of that mistake, and we're going three wide here, which is super dangerous, so I back off the throttle and let those two go side by side down this stretch of road. Who's off into the sand? I forget. Nomad into the sand, making another mistake. So now I'm up into 13th. 
going to try to capitalize on Stevie and Rally Cat having it out in a battle. Rally going just over the curb, slowing him down just a little bit. I'm able to take him on the outside and jump into 12th place. Up into lap 12, Stevie just in front. And Rally Cat giving a nice push. Someone's in the sand and there is some there is some smoke wall coming from someone up there. Stevie getting a little crazy just then and I'm able to take this turn a hell of a lot better than he did. So I got the run on him going into the next section of turns. Stevie on the inside though, so he does have the advantage. And he just tucks in behind me and I'm able to execute these turns and hold on. There's somebody in the grass there, but unrelated on lap 18, somebody disconnected. So now I'm up into 10th place. I have a top 10 position, hopefully. But uh, Stevie is going to try to get that top 10 position away from me on lap 19. I have three laps to hold this off from him. And he's able to... to it was it a was pretty aggressive move, but that was my own fault for not defending. If there's anything that this race has taught me is that I need to learn how to defend a lot better. Here we are in Stevie's slipstream. Three laps left to go here at Monza. Breaking at the 150 marker and uh, went incredibly too deep. I was just too lax on the brakes there. And uh, I did take the position from him, but I'm going to let off the throttle and give him his position back. It just seemed like the right thing to do because that was, that was just not the way I wanted to take 10th place. Uh, corner cutting like that. So here we are at the end of lap 20 now, coming out of that long right-hander. I got the moves on Stevie. I got the inside line coming into the first chicane here. Stevie on the outside. I'm going to break right at 150 again. Easy on the brakes. Not trying to lock him up either. Giving him just enough room. A little bit of oversteer on my part. And we are still relatively side-by-side. Fender-to-fender. On lap 21, he my speed is just a little bit better than his. So I'm able to nix that out. And here comes Maynard, right behind Stevie. I don't know what kind of steroids his car took, but the last half of this race, Maynard came back with a vengeance. And you'll see that here in just a little bit. Maynard, Maynard's uh, steroids that he's took, that is just incredibly fast. I don't know what happened there. But just completely outgunning me on the straights. So here we are, the final lap, lap 22. And Maynard just takes the position from me relatively easy, even though I had the inside line. So, uh, yeah, that was pretty much the end of that race. 45 minutes solid of racing with one caution. 22 laps at Monza, and I'm going to finish race 2 in 11th place. Uh, not what I wanted to do, not how I wanted to finish. I was expecting a top 10 finish, um, especially starting in second place. That was my own fault there. I learned my lesson. Uh, next up is VIR, and I will have the braking line on for that. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next race. Bye-bye.